know it's not every day that hot air balloons take over part of Northeast Ohio, and this weekend we have a chance to check them out in Canton. <laughs> yeah, that's where we find our digital anchor, Stephanie Haney, for the Balloon Classic. And you are in uh, good company there in your hometown there, right, Stephanie? That's right, Christy and Lena. You know I love this time of year. This is one of my favorite times of year in Canton for the Pro Football Hall of Fame Enshrinement Festival, and the Balloon Classic presented by Allman is always top of my list. We're going to learn a little bit more about some of the cool things happening here with Vice President Colin Floyd. She is with the festival. Colin, we've got some celebrities in our presence. The Budweiser Clydesdales are here. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, we've got the Clydesdales here for two weeks this year, and we looked back in our festival history, and we cannot find when they've ever been here for two weeks. So we are so excited to bring them to the people of Canton for just so just watching the joy on people's faces has been so fantastic and uh, they're going to be here every day uh, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. You can come and see them for free, which is really great. I um, mean, you can see them out in the county, too. Um, they're going to be going on some one horse shows. Um, you can check our full schedule on the festival website, which is hofef.com. And really quick, we got a big guy over here. This is Steve. Tell me about Steve. OK, Steve is. Yeah, he's big daddy. He's um, almost 2200 pounds and he's what's called a wheel horse. Um, so he's considered one of the strongest of the Clydesdales. And when you see them do the full hitch and pull the wagon, he's pulling most of that weight. All right, Colin, very quickly, tell me what the highlights are of the Balloon Classic specifically this weekend. Okay, we've got a packed schedule. We started this morning um, with a balloon liftoff, which is always a great way to start the festival. Um, then this evening, um, we, well, we actually have four liftoffs scheduled throughout the weekend. This evening, we have the balloon glow. That's where the balloons inflate on the field and illuminate, and they kind of put off a glow effect. It's really beautiful. Um, tomorrow at 8 a.m., we have our Up, Up, and Away 5K. The past couple of years, the balloons have actually lifted up during the 5K, which has been quite the sight to see. There is so much going on. I want to bring in Todd Hawk over here. He is the general chair of the 2023 Pro Football Hall of Fame Enshrinement Festival. Todd, you've been involved for about two dozen years now. Tell me what you've seen change over that time with the festival. It's just a lot of good things happen in the community, and I see a lot of events grow and people come, and more and more people come from outside of our community to be part of all the things that we do here locally. And to put this all on with a bunch of volunteers like we do, it's a, it's a unique experience. Tell me a little bit about that. All of the people involved in making something like this happen here in Stark County. It's thousands of people that get together and give up their time. They're all volunteers. They're here of their own volition. They don't have to be here. They certainly spend a lot of time, and we just can't appreciate that enough because there's just there's no way you can do it. You couldn't have enough employees. You couldn't spend enough money to do that. So that volunteer time just makes us a really special community to be part of and be part of this, this event every year. Well, as a Canton native, Todd, thank you very much. I can attest to that. The Balloon Classic, again, one of my favorite events that happens at the Pro Football Hall of Fame Enshrinement Festival. There's fireworks on Saturday, everybody. It's free to get in. Parking is $10 if you want to park on site. And I can tell you, too, from living here for a long time, people park in the community areas as well. So, Lena and Christy, it's a wonderful event. And uh, the balloons are absolutely beautiful. Oh, yeah. Not an event you want to miss. Oh, yeah. And I, I understand I, I might have to get up kind of early because there, there's a morning show and an evening show. That's right, 6.30 a.m. and 6.30 p.m. So they'll launch tonight at 6.30 p.m., weather permitting, and then also 6.30 a.m. Saturday morning, 6.30 p.m. Sunday. Oh, excuse me, 6.30 p.m. Saturday night, and then 6.30 a.m. on Sunday as well to kind of close things out. That's worth getting up for. Yeah, I'll for sure. say. Thanks yeah. so much, Stephanie. Thanks, Steph. Have fun. Well, don't forget, this is all in preparation for Enshrinement Week at the Pro Football Hall of Fame. All next week, 3 News at 5 will be live from the stadium as we prepare for former Browns player Joe Thomas to be enshrined. And just a friendly reminder, the Browns will be playing the New York Jets on WKYC right here Thursday night.